Tennis, a racket sport played at all ages and levels of society, has rapidly gained popularity since first played in the 1800s. The modern tennis racket has remarkably evolved since its original design that was essentially just a plank of wood. It moderately developed from laminated wood, steel, graphite, and advanced to the strongest and most lightweight material, carbon fiber. Carbon fiber was invented as it is strong yet lightweight. A wooden tennis racket typically merely has a lifespan of 3 months with constant use, while steel tennis rackets are notably heavy, weighing approximately half a kilogram, which may be uncomfortable and ineffective in striking. What makes carbon fiber a leading and more favorable material is unquestionably its incredible strength to weight ratio. Carbon fiber is 10 times stronger yet 5 times lighter than steel. Carbon fibers are strands of long chains of carbon called carbon nanotubes with a diameter of approximately 5 to 10 micrometers, about 10 times thinner than human hair. What makes carbon fiber very strong is the bonding of the carbon nanotube. Also familiar as its quantum chemistry is sp2. Carbon fibers generally have sp2, which is naturally stronger than the chemical bonding of a diamond. In an experiment conducted a decade ago, a multi-walled carbon fiber nanotube was able to hold 6,422 kilograms on merely 1 mm square of carbon fiber. The carbon atoms are bonded together in a microscopic crystals that are more or less aligned parallel to the long axis of the fiber. The crystal alignment makes the fiber incredibly strong for its size. Carbon fibers are typically combined with another material to form a composite. Commonly, carbon fibers are combined with a thermoset resin, such as epoxy, to form carbon fiber reinforced polymer, also known as CFRP. In CFRP, the epoxy resin is the matrix, and carbon fiber is the reinforcement. When the matrix and the reinforcement is combined, it forms a composite of CFRP with high strength, lightweight, and non brittle material. The strength and lightweight is provided by carbon fiber. Meanwhile, the epoxy as the matrix keeps it all together and prevents the material from being brittle. The physical properties of carbon fiber include high strength to weight ratio, rigidity, corrosion resistance, electrical conductivity, good tensile strength but brittle, fire resistant or not flammable, high thermal conductivity in some forms. Epoxy resin is stronger than other resins such as vinyl ester resin and polyester resin. It is three times stronger than vinyl ester resin. It also has high temperature resistance and chemical resistance. When the two are combined, they form the best composite yet for tennis rackets, CFRP. The manufacturing process of carbon fibers is part chemical and part mechanical. The typical sequence of operations in making carbon fibers are spinning, stabilizing, carbonizing, treating the surface, and sizing. Polyacrylonitril plastic is spun into fibers. The spinning step is important because the internal atomic structure of the fiber is formed during this process. The fibers are then washed and stretched to the desired fiber diameter. The stretching helps align the molecules within the fiber and provide the basis for the formation of the tightly bonded carbon crystals after carbonization. Before carbonization, the fibers need to be chemically altered to convert their linear atomic bonding to be a more thermally stable ladder bonding. This is accomplished by heating the fibers in the air to about 390 to 590 Fahrenheit or 200 to 300 Celsius for 30 to 120 minutes. This causes the fibers to pick up oxygen molecules from the air and rearrange their atomic bonding pattern. This causes the fibers to turn black. The next step is carbonization. The fibers are heated to a temperature of 1000 to 3000 Celsius in a furnace filled with gas mixture that does not contain oxygen. As the fibers are heated, they begin to lose their non-carbon atoms. As the non-carbon atoms are expelled, the remaining carbon atoms form tightly bonded carbon crystals that are aligned more or less parallel to the long axis of the fiber, making the fiber very strong. After carbonizing, the fibers have a surface that does not bond well with the epoxies and other materials used in composite materials. To give the fibers better bonding properties, their surface is slightly oxidized. Oxidation can be achieved by immersing the fibers in various gases such as air, carbon dioxide, or ozone, or in various liquids such as sodium hypochlorite or nitric acid. After the surface treatment, the fibers are coated to protect them from damage during winding or weaving. This process is called sizing. 
Coating materials are chosen to be compatible with adhesive used to form composite materials. Typical coating materials include epoxy, polyester, nylon, urethane, and others. The coated fibers are wound onto cylinders called bobbins and the fibers are twisted into yarns of various sizes. Carbon fiber reinforced polymer is the perfect composite material for tennis rackets. Carbon fiber alone is quite brittle, but with epoxy to keep the fibers together, it is incredibly strong yet lightweight, validating its superiority over wooden and steel rackets previously innovated. Its strength results in a longer lifespan and a higher quality material, preventing it from being prone to breakage. Its lightweight makes it more efficient for the player to use the racket. Despite its exceptional advantages, carbon fiber does have drawbacks. One of them includes the price, which relates to existing economical issues. Due to its complex manufacturing process, carbon fiber inclines in the more expensive side, ranging from $120 to $300. Its economical issues limit the number of users worldwide, especially for the underprivileged. In conclusion, carbon fiber is an engineer's dream. It was crafted perfectly for tennis rackets for a convenient and effective playing. Although it is a little expensive, it is surely worth the cost with its exceptional strength and lightweight found nowhere else.